Oh, well, everybody's just working everywhere. You know, like we, every quarterback's working, every running back, you know, Dave's getting reps, Rico's getting reps. Just every position, you know, just doing different things. Do y'all feel comfortable with Bentley if they go with Bentley, just based on lack of reps you've had with him? Honestly, I have no idea. I'm just really putting my faith in the coaches, and they're going to put us in the best position, put the best players out there to win. So, honestly, I have no idea what's going on with the quarterback situation or whatever. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing in practice and stuff like that, and whoever's in, they're in, and I just run with it. Does it affect timing or stylistically anything that you do, the changes at quarterback, or is one guy just the same as the other? Uh, not necessarily. Maybe just slightly a little bit. You know, the mesh on the inside zone and stuff like that, that just takes practice and takes work and takes time. So that would be like the only different thing. Right. So if they make a change, if they go with Bentley, that's something that you all would need to sort of get, get some rhythm in. I believe so because of lack of reps Yeah. as far as that. So. Did you have a sense of what Jake is like in the huddle? From practice, or have you not been around him enough? I, I have not been around him enough to know anything really. I just know he's a he's a good guy. He's been rotating in there with everybody, with Brandon and Perry. So that's all I really know. Equal number of times with reps with just Jake? about just about that started this week or that started last week? About this week. This week. That this week. Okay. Does does he come across at all like a guy who should be a senior in high school? You can definitely tell he's young. You know, sometimes, you know, everybody makes mistakes, but you can definitely tell he's young. I'm young too, shoot, you know. Like, we, we have a lot of young people out there trying to do whatever the coach is telling us to do, so we just got to go out there and do it. But he's he's definitely young, as we are all, so. Have you worked at punt return any? Have you taken a rep there? I have. I've been catching balls punt return starting this week, so I'm not necessarily sure what's going on with that, what's going to happen with that, but... We'll see. That's kind of a different thing, punt return, isn't it? Tell me what it takes to be a to be a punt, punt return. Ooh, punt return takes courage yeah. to catch the ball, and especially if you're trying to return it as well. You know, people are running and running at you, so you have to be have to have really good ball skills. You have to have good vision to judge where the ball is. You know, it helps to play baseball. You know, play outfield. I used to play baseball, so it just makes it that much easier uh, to catch the ball and get get up under it. Um, but it's definitely different to kick return. You don't have a running start. You, right. You're just starting off cold, so definitely takes athleticism and acceleration and speed. But you mentioned courage. That's the one that strikes me because, I mean, those guys are coming down at you, and you've got to be able to sort of block that part of it out at, until you catch the ball. Right? They are. I can't imagine. I have, I've never been in on punt return. I know a kick return when I get the ball and I'm running. Shoot, they're running at me it's, it's <laughs> real fast, so I just can't imagine punt return when you're just standing still. So. And, and kick return, they're still 15 yards away or something. Yeah, and, and they're still they're, they're still coming fast. Right. So punt return, no, they're coming even probably faster. So. Do you get the sense that punt returning is something that's much much harder in a game than it is even during practice? I believe so. I think the crowd has a a big play in it. You know the noise and stuff like that because you really have to focus on the ball. You really have to catch it because our motto is we we just want the ball afterwards, which means we need people to catch it and recover it. I mean, we want to be able to put in returns and, you know, score like that, but our first thing is just to catch the ball. So, so we're doing just finding people to go back there just to catch the ball for right now. What has to happen better on third down? We just got to execute. We got to convert. We can't leave and, like, have the, like, the yard and distance be, like, fourth and two or something like that. We got to really get those yards, no matter how many yards it is, whether it's two, three, five. Eight, we got to get it. We got to keep the offense on the field because that's how we win games by scoring points. I mean, defense wins games too, but you also got to put up points on the board to win. Has third down become a mental thing at all? They do, when y'all get to a third down, do you think, oh crap? You, know, you feel pressure. We got to get these because this is a struggle for us. Or, or during the game, does that even occur? To you? Well, personally, for me, it doesn't really occur. I just you know do whatever the play is called. Obviously, every play I try to get the maximum amount of yards as I can. So you just gotta, you just gotta, we just gotta execute. That's really what it comes down to is being able to execute and run our offense and not have to change for anybody else. So once we do that, I think we'll be really fine. We'll be really fine. How's David Williams doing? David's doing great. He had a great practice today. You know, he was up tempo. He was fast. He was physical. So Dave's been doing a really good job on um, this past few weeks. So kudos to him. He's been doing really good. Thank you.
handled Rico being uh, kind of rotated in more? I mean, how, how has that affected the dynamic in the, run, in the running backs room? Um, I'm not necessarily sure if it affected it. I just think that it's just another person that's in there. Uh, and that can be good for us. I know in practice, I mean, we do a lot of reps, be tired. <laughs> so it's good to get an extra body in there and, you know, get some extra rest time. But in the game, I mean, he adds, I'm sorry, he adds like another dimension to the run game. You know, he's really physical. He breaks a lot of tackles and stuff like that. So he's good. He's good. Is, is, is bowl eligibility something you guys still talk about? I mean, is that, is, is that still oh, a goal yeah, out there? Of course. Of course. Bowl eligibility is... I mean, I want to go to bowl game. It's my first year playing. It would be great to go to bowl game. And we're trying to play for the seniors because, you know, this is their last go around and they want to make it to the bowl game too. Like, I don't blame them. So we just got to, once again, I keep saying we got to do what we're coached to do. You know, we got to execute on offense, got to make plays on defense. Special teams is game changers. So we just got to really put it all in. And I think it's starting to come, it's all starting to come together. And we'll see what happens this weekend on Saturday. I feel like that's still a realistic prospect. Yeah. Speaking of execution, do you feel like the little things you were able to work on last week have helped y'all have started into game preparation this week for UMass? I do. I do. I think we've been doing a lot of different things that's, especially for a running back, you know, jump cut drills and just stuff like that and just getting dirty yards, which is yards after contact if you don't necessarily see a hole there. So we've just been working on like a lot of different things to get better. Uh, offense, defense, or special teams. You know, we've just been working on technique, really. You know, technique, they always say that our effort's there, but we just got to really work on our technique and stuff, and our assignments know what we're doing. And, you know, like I keep saying, execute. So. How would you summarize your first six games at the college level? Um, I believe I could definitely have done better. I've I made a, quite a few mistakes uh, my first few games, and, you know, you just got to learn from it, and you got to get better, and do better, you know. Action speaks louder than words, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just going out here practicing, giving it my all, what giving type, 100%. What type of mistakes? Just pass protection mistakes, or whether it's pass level. protection or you know, I know last game I dropped a ball. Yeah. You know, I, man, dropped a ball. I, I fumbled a pitch. You know, I just didn't play play good Saturday, but I can't let that hold me down. I just gotta use that as fuel to get better, and I think that's what I've been doing so far this week, ever since that uh, game. So we just gotta gotta work, gotta work, 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 work. Obviously, you redshirted last year. You had, an, you had an injury, I think, in, uh, in high school too. So I think when you played this year, the like first time two years. Maybe in two years. So I mean, was, was, that, was that a tough? Uh, I mean, was it sort of sort of getting back into in, into football mindset after being off almost for two years? To be honest with you, a little bit, but not really. And I only say that because I mean, I've been playing football my whole life. I know football, and you know, I'm here at practice every day in the morning we're watching film and doing stuff so I feel like I'm getting it mentally and you know that two years off I think it kind of did a little something but I feel like I'm back now and I've just been playing and playing so you know I think I'm fine now the two year thing is I'm just throwing that out the window like I already started the season halfway done. Has it been what you expected to be? Full experience? Honestly I just I've been thinking I was thinking I was going to do better Yeah. to be honest with you you know I just got to uh, I got to keep grinding, keep working, weight room, on the field, off the field. Just got to make sure I'm doing everything that I can to benefit my team and be a better contributor to my team, you know, whether that's, you know, getting extra reps after practice or something like that and doing extra runs, catching extra passes or anything like that. So I just, I'm not putting it on myself, but I'm just trying to be the best that I can be for my team. So. You were talking about the 30 yards or the bully yards. How, how do you go about getting better in that area in practice? Uh, just running hard and being physical. Uh, yards after contact, it's same thing as dirty yards. So we've just been doing bag drills and, you know, the little shoot things that we have to run under, the little blasters that we have to run through. And in practice, we always finish our runs, you know, whether we get tackled behind the line of scrimmage or – Anywhere, we just always finish our runs. We always score on every play in practice. It doesn't matter what the result is. You just keep running, and I think that really uh, plays a part in uh, getting bull yards. How close are you with Shamik Blackshear? I'm really close with Shamik. Shamik, I look at, look at him as like one of my older brothers, even though we're kind of close in age. He's just a little bit older than me, but 
Shimmy, yeah. yeah how, how have you seen him go up over the last year or so? To be honest, from from his from his incident, from when he got shot to now, he's totally different, man. Like he's been working hard in the weight room. I know sometimes he hits me up, he texts me like, "Hey, man, let's get some extra work. Let's let's lift, or you know, let's do some ladder." So it's it's just different. I think he has a different mindset and. I think he's going to be really good. He's going to be really good. He's working hard on scout team, and he's getting reps on first team and stuff like that. So, I mean, I think he's going to be a really good player for us, and he's going to be able to contribute a lot. Does he talk about a change in mindset with you guys, or is it just evident by his action? It's just evident by his action. He doesn't really talk that much about it. What did you do for your bye weekend? I stayed here and just did some extra stuff. Yeah. Didn't didn't want to go home. Kind of upset about the game, the Georgia game. So just stay here, did a little extra, try to get better, try to be great. Like lifting on field stuff. Like yeah, like ladders, like yeah. different stuff like that, bags. Mm -hmm. With this running game, is the as you guys go through through practice, are you guys adding a lot more? Is there, there just more of an emphasis on, on, on getting kind of the base stuff to, to be sort of in a better place? Um, I don't think necessarily we're adding a lot. I just think that we're just making little wrinkles off of stuff that we already have. Um, as far as the run game, even the pass game to maybe switch up a few routes mm -hmm. on a play and make it a different play or, you know, have the blocking point different way or something like that for the running game. So we've just been adding on to what we already have mm -hmm. and just making like little adjustments based off of what we've seen or what we watched on film the week before or if we see what defense they're running and what, what we think is going to work best for what they're running. So we've just been making little wrinkles.